The quantum computer is a device that can solve for us problems that you cannot solve otherwise. And that's actually, that's the promise that we have. The growth in quantum computing, to be really honest, has been driven by the fact that um, uh, some uh, engineers uh, previously figured out how to work with microwaves. We need the microwave test and measurement equipment to understand uh, whether everything performs as it should or not. The controllability of the system has to be perfect. So we have certain experience what instruments, what equipment we are trusting, and we know actually that we can rely on the technology that is available. With Roden Schwartz, uh, what, what we have bought um, a lot of our uh, local oscillators. So these are really the instruments that would uh, generate the microwave signals, which we will shape and send down the fridge, both for controlling the qubit and reading out the qubit. We need instruments that just work at the end without thinking about scalable instruments, high precision instruments that can control our qubits. The specs of the top instruments are really top notch. It's not just turning a few knobs and having a little bit better sensitivity here or a little bit higher performance there. The foundations change. We have to co-develop instruments so that we can all move together into this direction and make this quantum computing possible. So with companies like Rode and Schwartz, we are actually confident that we can actually solve this problem because we get the support also from industry and that we get devices and instruments that are needed to get to this quantum computer that we actually envisage right now. The problems are hard, so you need to be better to solve them. And I think that's a very uh, strong incentive and a motivator to continuously improve yourself. The eagerness to get a working device, this is a spirit the engineers can and will bring to the quantum technology field.